All right, we're going to talk about improper integrals. So there are three types of improper integrals, and uh, definite integrals kind of look like this, the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Um, and so the relationship between a, b, and uh, f of x, the function, will determine if this is improper or not. So um, there are three ways that they can really be improper, and then a fourth way where you just combine everything, and that's a nightmare. Uh, so the first way is that... Um, f of x could be discontinuous at either a or b, so that's one issue you could run into. A second issue is that um, f of x could be discontinuous um, at some value of c in between a and b, um, so that would cause us a problem. The third thing, a or b, or both, um, could somehow be infinite, so either a is negative infinity or b is positive infinity, or uh, you have the situation where you're going from negative infinity to positive. And then uh, the final fourth case scenario, uh, this, this is awful. Uh, it's a combination of them. So you definitely don't want that to happen. All right, um, so what I'm going to do now is some examples of the first type. So um, here's our integral from 0 to 1 of radical x dx. And you always want to look at it and figure out what the problem is. So the problem here is that um, f of x, 1 over radical x, is discontinuous at 0. So the way we deal with improper integrals is we take limits. So in this case, I'm going to take the limit as um, a approaches 0 from the right of, um, and I'm approaching 0 from the right because I have to be between uh, 0 and 1, so the only way that I can approach 0 is from the right, obviously. Um, and I've rewritten it as x to the negative 1 half to make taking the antiderivative a little easier. So uh, we write the limit again, and plus 1 times the reciprocal. So we get this. And then you just follow through, so you're taking a limit, so you're going to have to write limit as long as an a appears anywhere. Um, so now I'm kind of using fundamental theorem, well, I'm definitely using the fundamental theorem to get this, um, which means that first part is just 2 right now, and then minus this limit. And then if a approaches 0, that just approaches uh, 0. So the answer here is 2 minus 0. So 2, the answer to this particular definite integral, um, which was improper, is 2. It converges to the value of 2. Let's take a look at another one. So here we're going to go from uh, 0 to 5 of 5 minus x to the negative 3 halves, or 1 over 5 minus x to the 3 halves. So the problem here is that um, the function is discontinuous at x equals 5. So again, we're going to deal with the limits. The only way you can approach 5 is from the left. So we'll have the limit as b approaches 5 from the left. And I've rewritten it again. So we need the chain rule and uh, reverse power rule, which is going to give us the limit as b approaches 5 from the left of 2 the quantity 5 minus x to the negative 1 half. So that's plus 1 times the reciprocal, but there was a chain rule thing, so you picked up a negative um, from 0 to b. Still a limit, so we're writing limits. Remember, you're going to do that as long as b appears anywhere in the problem. So we have this. This reduces down. The second part um, is already done to this. And now, uh, if you think about it, uh, that fraction that I have there, 2 over radical 5 minus b, if b approaches uh, 5 from the left, um, the denominator is becoming a really, really tiny positive number. So you're doing 2 divided by a really tiny positive, which uh, is actually going to blow up to infinity. So that right there uh, diverges to infinity. So we could say that this integral either diverges, depending on what kind of question you're answering, or we could say that it uh, approaches infinity, so it's unbounded, just keeps growing. Um, so that's two examples of the first type, and I'm going to come back in another video and uh, talk about the second type of improper integral. Hope you found this helpful. Good luck.